Hi, this is Dave from Barnes New Media, and in this video, I'm going to show you two ways to create a password protected wholesale area for your WooCommerce store. First, we'll create password protected category pages that are only available to those whom you provide the password. Then, I'll show you how to create a user role and only provide the users within that role access to specific products and category pages. Both of these methods are great for creating a fully functional online wholesale store or for creating a wholesale product catalog within your existing WooCommerce store. So let's jump in and get started. An important thing to note here before we get started is that you will need two plugins in order to create this setup. So you'll need WooCommerce, which is free, and you can download directly from your WordPress admin area. We'll also need the WooCommerce Protected Categories plugin, which is built by us at Barn2 Media and available at barn2.co.uk. Now the first thing that we need to do is actually create a category that we're going to put all of our wholesale products into. So to do that, we're going to come over here to Products and go to Categories. Here you'll notice we have a couple of categories already set up for accessories, hoodies, and t-shirts, but we're going to go ahead and create a new category over here on the left, and we're just going to call it Wholesale. Now there's one additional section that our plugin adds to this page, and it's the visibility section down here. By default, all of your categories are public, which means all of your categories and products are viewable by anyone who visits your website. What we're gonna do with this wholesale category that we're creating is we're gonna set it to protected. And for this first method, we're gonna choose password protected. And we'll give our category a password. I'm just going to use wholesale to keep it simple, but you should obviously use something a little bit more secure. And then we'll just click Add New Category. Now you'll see that our new category has been added, and under the Visibility column, you'll see that it is password protected. One other thing to note here is that you can create an entire category structure that all fits within this wholesale protected category. So to do that, let's say we wanted to create another category beneath wholesale for just our wholesale t-shirts. We would create the new category over here on the left, only this time we would make sure that the parent category was set to our new password protected one called wholesale, and then we would leave it as public. You can create as many additional categories as you want. You can leave them all public. What that means is that any of those child categories that are underneath of wholesale will all require just that single wholesale password that you set. So you can create an entire catalog of protected products all within your wholesale area and only need one single password. But now that we have our category set up and password protected, it's time to add a product to that category. So to do that, we're going to come back over here and click on All Products. The quickest way to add or remove a category from a product is to hover over it and use the quick edit option. So I've already created a separate product that is a wholesale t-shirt product and I'm going to click on quick edit. And over here instead of it being in the t-shirts category which is public so everyone can view, I'm going to place it in our new wholesale password protected category and I'll remove it from the t-shirts category. One quick note here, if you leave the product in multiple categories, some of which are password protected and some of which are public, our plugin will default to actually protecting that product. We do this just to help any kind of mistakes that might accidentally happen if you put a product into multiple categories, but you really do want it protected. So you might need to create two separate products, one for your public facing site that everyone can view, and a second one for just your wholesale area. The benefit of doing something like this is that you can offer a different price or a discount to your wholesale customers. And once we've switched our category here, the final step is to go down here and click Update. So now let's take a look at our public facing store. What you'll notice is that I'm on the shop page and we have 12 products that are listed here. We do not see the wholesale product at all because we've placed it in that protected category. So by default, it will be hidden from your public shop. We also have a couple of widgets in our sidebar for product categories and just a product listing. And again, you'll notice that our protected category called wholesale is not within our categories list and our t-shirt wholesale product is also not in our products list. So this is the default behavior and this makes a lot of sense if you don't want any of your public facing customers to see your protected or wholesale products. However, there is a way that you can show all of your wholesale categories and products if you want on your site and I'll show you how to do that now. So in our admin area, we'll come back to WooCommerce and we'll go to settings. 
from here we'll go to products and then we'll click on protected categories and the two key options here are your category visibility options so we can check these boxes if we want to show our protected categories and products in our public facing store as well as in all navigation menus so if i check these two options come down to the bottom here and click save changes now when i come back to my website you'll notice that there's the wholesale category is now being displayed in my main navigation. I also now have 13 products that are listed here in my products list. You'll notice that the wholesale t-shirt is listed, as well as over in my sidebar, my wholesale product t-shirt right here, and the wholesale category is listed as well. So now it's time to actually link to your wholesale area. There are two different ways to do this, so let's go through the options. The first and probably the easiest way is you can go ahead and go to products and categories, and then find your protected category here. You can either right click on the view link and copy the link address, or you can open that link up in a browser and then copy the URL from your browser bar. You would then give this link to your wholesale distributors and they would be provided with this login page that looks like this. They simply enter the password that you created for that category, click login, and then they'll have access to all the products within it. You could also create a unique page where your wholesale distributors can go to to log in. So for that method, we would go to Pages and Add New. We would create a new page here, and we would use this short code, Category underscore Login. This is great if you have multiple password-protected categories in your shop, because you can direct people to this login page, and then based on which password that they enter, they'll be redirected automatically to the associated category with that password. One final thing to note about this login screen, if you come back to your WooCommerce settings and go to the protected category settings screen, scroll down near the bottom, you can customize a lot of the information that's on the login page, such as the heading, the message, a password label, whether or not to use a placeholder, and the login button text. Another important setting on this page is how long the user will be logged in to be able to view your protected category. So by default, it's set to 10 days, but you can change this to anything that you'd like. After this time expires, then they'll be prompted to enter the password again. So that covers it for the first method of creating a wholesale area for your WooCommerce store. Let's take a look at the second option. If you want your wholesale users to have their own individual logins for the website and be responsible for managing their own passwords, you can use the role protection instead. So this is another option that comes with the WooCommerce Protected Categories plugin. So let's take a look at how it works. You will need one additional free plugin from WordPress. It's called User Role Editor. So you can go ahead and search for that here on your plugin screen. And once you've installed it, go ahead and activate it. Just like in the last step, we still need to create that protected category that we're going to use for our wholesale area. So we've already done that. But now what we need to do is create a user role. And this user role is going to be the one that has access to our wholesale area. So to create this new user role, we're going to go to Users and User Role Editor. Over here on the right, you'll see Add Role, so let's go ahead and click that button. You'll need to give your role a name and an ID, so let's go ahead and do that now. And we're going to make a copy of the Customer Role, and then click Add Role. And our role was successfully created. So now we're going to go back to our wholesale category and we're going to adjust some of the protection options. So let's go to products and categories. Let's go ahead and click on our wholesale category to edit it. And we'll scroll down to the bottom. And this time, instead of choosing password protected, we're going to choose user roles. Now we can enter the user roles that we want to have access to our category. You want to always make sure to add the administrator role. That'll ensure that you and all the other administrators of the site can also access that part of the website. But in addition to that, we're also going to search for that new role that we just created called our wholesale buyer. This will allow them to also access this protected category. One other thing to note here is that you could also use users instead of user roles. If you just wanted to give certain individual users access to this category, you could do that option here as well and search for just those unique users. But for this tutorial, we're just going to stick with the user role. And make sure you click the Update button to save your changes. And to test this out, I've got two different versions of the website open, one where I'm logged in as the wholesale buyer, 
and another one where I'm logged out and not logged in as any user at all. So this screen shows you a user that has the wholesale buyer role applied to them. When they are logged in, they will see the wholesale category up in here in the navigation. They will have all 13 results in our shop, including when you scroll down, you'll see the wholesale t-shirt right here. And all the products will be available in any sidebar widgets that list the product categories or the products as well. If we switch over to a version of the shop where a user is not logged in, then you'll see that all of the wholesale categories and products are not showing up. We only have 12 results here because that 13th option is protected to just uh, the people that are our wholesale buyer users. One of the final things to make this role protection work is we need to actually create a user and add that user to this new wholesale buyer role that we created. So how do we do that? Let's go over to users and click on add new. Go ahead and fill out all the required information here on this page. And the important step here is under role, we want to change this from whatever the default role is and just choose wholesale buyer. That's the role that we created that will only have access to certain password protected categories in our WooCommerce store. And just make sure you click add new user when you're finished. This places that user within the wholesale buyer user role. And when they log into the site, they'll have access to all of your wholesale products. One final thing to remember when using this user role protection method is that your wholesale customer will also see all of the public facing products that are on your shop. And they may want a way just to see the wholesale products. So make sure that you include a link somewhere in your navigation. It might be a link in the footer, but make sure that your wholesale customers know where to find that link and how to access only these specific wholesale products. That way they're not inundated with seeing all of your public facing products as well. And that covers it for the two different ways to create a password protected wholesale area for your WooCommerce store. To learn more and purchase the plugin, head on over to barn2.co.uk. Thanks for watching.